ओम श्री परमात्मने नमः टुडे आई विल शो यू द मेथड ऑफ डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट विथ सुप्रीम रियालिटी हाउ टू इस्टैब्लिश डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट हाउ टू डायरेक्टली टच ब्रह्मन परमात्मन कैन यू बिलीव इट इट इज पॉसिबल एंड दिस मेथड दिस रेडिकल मेथड ऑफ कमिंग इन डायरेक्ट कंटैक्ट कंटैक्ट इनफैक्ट द बॉडी स्पर्श टचिंग direct touch and direct contact with brahman paramatman we can do we will do right now today this method is there in bhagavad gita's 6th chapter lord krishna in bhagavad gita instructs arjuna how to go straight directly in contact in touch with brahman the supreme self and abide there in i the supreme self so i will tell you the verse i think it's the 28th verse of 6th chapter of bhagavad gita lord krishna says yojane vam sadatmanam विगत कलमशेन ब्रह्म संस्पर्श अत्य सुखमाश्नुते वॉट अ रेडिकल रिवल्यूशन बाई लॉर्ड कृष्णा आउट ऑफ कंपैशन फॉर द इंटायर मैन काइंड he says o oh arjuna the yogi the aspirant the seeker of the supreme self the supreme truth when he refers that seeker as yogi so he says the yogi yujyanevam sadatmanam effortlessly and easily he focuses his mind on the self self within yourself the self that is witnessing consciousness that is called indwelling self atman pratyagatman sakshi chaitanya they are different words but the same reality of the nature of pure consciousness which is ever present in your intellect in your buddhi that is atman which is illumining every experience every perception every knowing everything being is being not only illumined but animated to nothing can happen you cannot do anything without the presence of that your consciousness the sakshi chaitanya within all actions happen because of the presence of sakshi chaitanya within us in consciousness and that sakshi chaitanya alone is perceiving everything with the instruments of mind intellect and senses of perception they are inert and unconscious so a real perceiver seer and experiencer is my atman so lord krishna is saying that constantly you go means the mind your mind should be always focused concentrated on that self the sakshi chaitanya the atman so when your mind is concentrated and focus not on the objects of senses or any thought or anything else but on yourself
then the yogi that seeker that meditator becomes free from all the tents the delusion and ignorance are the essential tents doshas whereby we consider out of ignorance this our self our identity i this finite perishable body as our identity the senses as our identity the mind intellect as our identity this is kalmasha avidya maya which leads to infinite number of deaths births and the cycle of suffering and sorrows goes on so it, it's called kalmash it's a tent fundamental tent so the moment your mind goes and focuses and concentrates on your own self the seer within see the seer within know the knower within experience the experience the real and that experiencer perceive her knower and seer is none other than my own atman of the nature of consciousness witnessing consciousness when my mind is focused on that सुखेन ब्रह्म संस्पर्शम अत्यंतम सुखमश्नुते द वर्ड यूज इन भगवत गीता इज अस्पर्शम कैन यू इमेजिन बाय दिस मेथड एफर्टलेसली सुखेन ब्रह्म संस्पर्शम द मोमेंट दिस माइंड फोकसेज एंड कंसेंट्रेट्स ऑन नथिंग बट the self within the atman the sakshi of the nature of consciousness thereby the yogi comes in direct contact sansparsham direct contact with the infinite bliss of brahman because that sakshi chaitanya the atman is brahman the supreme self the paramatman which is source of infinite ocean of love unconditional love divine love the infinite ocean of nectar is ever flowing as brahman once i dissolve my mental modifications through meditation through concentration and focus on my sakshi chaitanya the seer sakshi chaitanya for all practical purposes is no or see or experience or one the light of consciousness in my heart that is in my buddhi antah karana so when i focus my entire mental attention to myself the innermost core of myself then i come in direct contact with brahman and thereby i experience infinite bliss of brahman in other words then i dissolve my ignorance my sense of finiteness of this body mind complex and immerse myself into that infinite through this process the, this very finite becomes infinite this very mortal ephemeral perishable jiva immerses dissolves and finally becomes that very brahman the immortal infinite transcendental truth called brahman paramatman or parameshwar
सो फॉर इंस्ट्रक्शन इट इज सेड दैट यू कम इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विथ ब्रह्मन इट मीन्स दैट यू बिकम ब्रह्मन ब्रह्म भविद ब्रह्म भई भवती द नोअर ऑफ ब्रह्मन वेरीली बिकम्स ब्रह्मन एंड नोइंग ऑफ ब्रह्मन बिकम्स ओनली बाई बीइंग ब्रह्मन दिस इज द ग्रेटेस्ट मिस्टिकल पजल ऑफ ओपनिशल्स you need to go inside yourself to realize that true knowing of brahman is only by being brahman and by being brahman alone you know the nature of true self the brahman the knowing and being are one and the same that's what the implication of satchidananda the na- nature of pure being is pure consciousness consciousness and being are identical there is no existence outside pure consciousness pure consciousness is the fundamental reality that is called brahman that is called paramatman and it's ever present within me what is so difficult every moment i experience something i perceive something i know something so ex- the experiencer the perceiver and knower of all these is they are seated in my heart in my buddhi as sakshi chaitanya and when my mind is focused and concentrated on this sakshi chaitanya i directly come in contact with brahman and enjoy an experience infinite bliss of brahman i become brahman sukhe na brahma sansparsam अत्यंतम सुखमश्नुते डायरेक्ट इमीडिएट सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन इज सो इजी फॉर द ट्रू सीकर एंड द वन हु इज नॉट अ ट्रू सीकर इट्स इन्फिनिटली इम्पॉसिबल dive within dive within there is infinite ocean of unconditioned love and infinite bliss and that infinite ocean is called sakchi chaitanya witnessing consciousness which is my atman which is my soul which is my self which is the innermost core of my identity and this alone is when free from the limiting adjunct of body complex this alone is known as paramatman brahman supreme reality this mystery has been revealed by lord krishna in sixth chapter of bhagavad gita but very few of people or when the devotees of bhagavad gita and lord krishna know it know it in essence i mean they would know the meaning of the shloka but they can't directly right now i'm experiencing and you too can experience that supreme truth immediately after a few minutes i will just fall silent and still since i am instructing you to help you to aid you i have to speak but truly speaking once i stop speaking and focus my entire mental attention on that sakshi chaitanya that is the state what lord krishna says सुखे न ब्रह्म संस्पर्शम अत्यंतम सुखमश्नुते देन द मेडिटेटर अटेंस द इन्फिनिट ब्लिस ऑफ ब्रह्म इट मीन्स 
in that state he becomes Brahman. That is called when, in put, to put in simple terms, when conscious, there is no identity called mind. The consciousness alone appears as impure consciousness in mind and pure mind is called consciousness. Impure Brahman is called Jiva and pure Jiva is verily Brahman. That is my realization. So simple. So right now, right here, when my mind, which has always the tendency of extroversion, is turned back at the source, and when I am introverted and my mental attention is focused on myself, self means my Atman, Pratyagatman, Sakshi Chaitanya, the witnessing consciousness, ever present, ever experiencer and perceiver of all, ever knower of all, that is not, not so difficult. And that is me, that I am, the rest of the universe and this body is all imaginary, illusory appearances. I am not this body, I am not the senses, I am not the mind or intellect, these are all appearances, they are limiting adjuncts, upadhis produced due to avidya or maya in me. I am always that pure consciousness, the Brahman, the Paramatman. Now, I will for a few minutes fall silent and you should meditate like this, thereby you will directly realize your true nature. That is called self-realization, God-realization. This is the direct and immediate method which takes you to the innermost core, core of yourself, that is self, the Brahman ever present within you, you become that Brahman, Brahma with Brahmai Bhavati. By knowing Brahman, you become Brahman. By becoming Brahman, you know Brahman in reality because no one can know the self because the so self alone knows itself through itself. Because the entire knowing power, perceiving power and seeing power belongs to none other than the principle of consciousness that is the eternal subject, the eternal knower and experiencer of all and that eternal universal subject is you as Atman and the entire world of names and forms is object. Object means appearance. So simple. There are only two things, Brahma and his Maya. What is Brahma and what is his Maya? Brahma means Brahman means supreme reality, the supreme self, and Maya means the cosmic illusion, which is the power of the Brahman itself. It's not a second reality, as in the Sankhya Upanishad. In Vedanta, the Maya is the power of the Lord, the power of the Brahman. So what is, in one sentence I will explain to you, what is Brahman and what is Maya? And there is nothing third entity. The seer within, the seer, the eternal subject is Brahman and anything and everything that appears as object is Maya. So simple. So you are in reality the eternal, universal, immutable subject, perceiver, seer as Atman, as pure consciousness and anything and everything that appears as object is illusion, is cosmic maya, is avidya and as this entire universe appears to you as this, 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 that is the method of neti, 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 not this, not this, not this, anything and everything that appears as an object of perception that is not real, that is maya. So this entire universe appears to us as this, 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 a direct perception through senses. Therefore, it's illusion, it's maya. Even so, we experience our body, body organs, body parts. I experience my eyes, my ears. My mind is experiencing my ears, my 
eyes, my nose, all body and body parts and organs are object of experience. And then finally, I myself experience my mind and intellect. I come to know my mind is happy or my mind is sad. My mind is disturbed. My intellect is working. Sometimes we say my buddhi has become dysfunctional. How is it possible if I see, I perceive? So I, the Atman, Sakshi, Chaitanya, ever seated here, am witnessing, experiencing, seeing this mind and intellect too. Thereby, this is also part of Maya. This is Upadhi. So this entire universe, this body called gross body, the Asthul Sharira and the mind and Antakarana and the senses, they are Sukshma Sharira, this subtle body and the final ignorance called causal body experienced during the deep sleep. These are all objects of my experience and therefore none of these are me or mine they are projected out of ignorance so anything and everything that appears as object is illusion avidya and maya that is the process of neti neti i have negated all the objects of perception and knowing and finally i myself sakchi chaitanya i can't be perceived known or experienced as an object because I am the perce perceiver of all perception. I am the knower of all knowing. I am seer of all seeing because I am Atman. So now I will fall silent and still and dissolve into my supreme reality and experience and test the infinite bliss of my Brahmanhood, my Atmanhood. Shidanandaropah Shivoham Shivoham Practice it for a longer period of time.